hey there uh, welcome back uh, so this is the new project video so in the last videos we built a project called your avatar so from this video we're going to build a new project called revive image okay so straight away i'm going to show you the output that this is going to result in and uh, give you a sneak peek uh, of the flow of the application and then elaborate the technologies we are going to use uh, for this project okay so let's uh, head to our uh, output okay so you see here this is the project that we are going to build in the uh, one or two videos okay that is revive images this is the title of your of our new applications so the gist of this is let's say you have an old image uh, which is uh, blurred or not properly taken and you wanted to uh, revive that or restore that and uh, keep uh, that memory or uh, restore that memory and uh, become fond of that uh, images okay so this is what is going to help you with so it's going to help you revive your images okay so this is how let's say you have fed in this image so this is the uh, revived image that this application would be able to generate for you okay so let's uh, straight away uh, go to the one uh, demo part so like uploading an image and then uh, uh, see what the image is generated okay so clicking on this uh, as again uh, this is going to be very small and effective application okay we'll be having a just two pages one for the in uh, home page and another for the revive page where we are going to upload an image and uh, generate a revived image okay so now and also we are going to restrict the user uh, for five generations uh, every day okay for, and we are going to use the uh, next authentication and um, uh, allow the user to log in using their uh, google credentials and also we are going to restrict the uh, rate limitations using our upstash redis uh, rest api i'm going to talk about that which is really exciting because the technologies that we'll be covering in this very small project as well will be a big one and we're going to learn a lot of things so now i'm going to upload an image first okay so let's say i am going to take one uh, my image okay so this is the image that i'll be feeding in so so just uh, up, upload it so let's wait yep so it's uploading and also trying to uh, generate uh, the revived image okay now you see okay so once we have uploaded this we are going to store this in our uploader.io the uh, cloud uh, file storer and then from there we are going to use this and generate our revived image okay so and after this you would be able to download the uh, generated image okay so now you see uh, the pic is uh, downloaded so this is the uh, side by side comparison so you have again uh, to compare a single image itself so so this uh, just closing this this is the image that we have uploaded so if you just uh, compare uh, with the image that was generated you can clearly uh, check the comparison between your uploaded image and the generated image okay so this is the uh, gist of how the uh, flow of this application works and you see here first before uploading you had five generations left today but now we have uploaded one so we will be left with only four generations left today and after that you will not be allowed to upload any image you have to wait for a day and you will see here the uh, how long it um, the new uh, generations you will be able to generate will be uh, showcased here as well so yeah this is the uh, gist and uh, overall flow of the application okay so now heading back to the algorithm that we're using and what are the technologies that we are touching so going to the algorithm so we are using gfp gan uh, face restoration algorithms so this is an open source model okay which is exposed as an api by a replicate uh, okay so let's see some examples here so if you see the example section so this is the image that was fed in and this is the image that we got as an output so like that we have a many examples of okay uh, what is the real realization of this algorithm so how well this can be consumed okay so you see here so this was the uh, there are uh, lots of examples okay and there are pretty uh, 
quite documented details on how to consume this uh, uh, as an API or as a library and uh, what are the inputs to be provided and all so this is the algorithm that would be using okay fine so as I said we are going to restrict the user for only certain number of generations per day so that we are going to accomplish using the upstash redis rest api uh, and okay so this is where uh, upstash uh, where we can create our remote redis database and restrict the user for a limited number of uh, api calls okay this is how we are going to achieve this now after that as i said the files upload so this is where once the user clicks on upload image uh, you we are we are going to use this uh, react uploader uh, comp library and uh, which talks to this upload remote file storage service which the um, uh, images that user is going to upload will reside here okay and then we will pass this image to our the algorithm uh, api model and then restore uh, generate the image okay so this is the file storage service that we'll be using okay and as i mentioned uh, so we are going to configure the uh, oauth client uh, for the google so that uh, we, we can let the users log into our application using their google uh, credentials okay so and uh, so yeah so this is a pretty much the uh, thing that we'll be using now coming down to the uh, the uh, framework that we'll be using is the next.js obviously the react framework which is ready for production okay that framework will be using and for styling we'll use the tailwind css okay and for storing the uh, user details we are going to use the prisma orm and for database will be using the uh, postgresql okay so that is what i wanted to talk about in this video and give you the gist of it so in the coming video onwards we'll start building this and since it's a small i think i hope so we'll be able to complete in one or two videos okay so this is what i want to talk about thank you so much